Welcome, this is Energy Vibration Reading for the Leo Sun, Moon and Rising. This is the last week before the beginning of your year 2017. I want to say thank you for being here. Thank you for being back. Thank you for the wonderful um, positive energy vibration that you have been given out. This is a positive energy, whatever the situation is, this is good. Um, let's look and see what is going to be happening for you, Leos, in this week. Um, this week is a week of the tower. The energy of the tower is cleansing. This is going to be a wonderful week for you because you're cleansing to begin the year 2017, okay? Because um, the energy vibration of your year 2017 will begin after all of you birthdays, okay? So not everyone has, uh, um, so it's just the general. What is happening here is that Monday is going to be a good day for you. Um, Monday and um, Wednesday. Um, what is happening here is that a lot of sword energy from Thursday, Friday, and Sunday. A lot of sword energy um, is happening. Uh, so be aware you have the number one and the number eight number one and the number eight you have 18 so you're going to have words about financial situation so let's look further to see whatever is what else is going to happen burdens is coming up oh, but oh the wheel of fortune so this is going to be good the moon your intuition sword the three of sword so you don't have anything to worry about and you're protected you're shooting for the star and you're protective and you have the ace of wands and let's see what we have here we have the elephant organization okay not to worry okay so what is going to be the focus of the week for you what is going to be the focus of the week for you let's see what is going to be the eight of ones is going to be the focus of the week for you whatever is happening is a lot of speed a lot of speed a lot of news whatever is happening is a lot of speed a lot of news is going to be happening a lot of speed a lot of news is going to be happening uh, everything is going to come as a speed to you a lot of things are going to come at speed uh, to you so whatever you were waiting from from organization if it's um, um, for study whatever study work whatever it is it's going to come as if uh, speed it's going to come in with speed so let's see that you were working waiting on information from an organization and uh, information is going to come at a speed to you in this month so whatever that is happening in this week so whatever that was happening and you were waiting and like you were waiting and stuff it's now going to be speeding up you're going to get information coming at you very very fast a lot of information at once coming to you via the post via the email via um, text messages via contact uh, um, situation a lot so whatever that was blocking it is now clearing up so now things are going to start moving again so it's a week of things starting to move again you had the number one and the number eight number one and number eight and number three number one number eight and number three so number one number three and number eight number one number three number eight okay we're looking forward and we're going on um your best day is going to be monday wednesday monday and wednesday as we get to thursday and sunday it's it's, it's going to be a little bit rocky okay all right let's look we have the four of ones the four of ones is a celebration on Monday so whatsoever is happening is a celebration this is going to be a good celebration because whatever is happening you're busy but yet still there is going to be a huge celebration because you're releasing your burden you're releasing burdens that you are carrying and you're on Monday you're going to um, have uh, this wonderful celebration that means it's news coming in on Monday that you're releasing the burden that you have been carrying and this is very good very good whatever it was it's perfect it's good so on Tuesday we have the page of cups the page of cups is very wonderful the page of cups is somebody bringing love and this is going to be good because whoever this person is this person is going to help you to connect with someone of a hurt sign 
okay whoever this person is they're going to help you to connect with someone of a hurt sign and this person is going to help you to manifest abundance in your life so whoever this person is this Empress she's going to help you to manifest burden um, uh, um, new things in your life so you 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 know who you are you Leo's are going to be connecting with this page of cup whoever is this page of cups is someone who really likes you and want you to connect to someone who can help you and bring you know uh, open up doors of opportunity for you and this page of cups is going to connect you with a hurt sign person a Capricorn a Capricorn a Taurus or a Virgo so he's going to come in and it's as if he is going to be the link between you and this person and this person is going to bring you a lot of abundance in your life and this is going to be super super sweet okay it's going to be very good so here we are we're looking forward we're looking at the crowning of your week and we have the two of ones this is a wonderful energy the two of ones because with this energy of the two of ones is that new doors and opportunities are going to open for you and it's as if the wheel of fortune is bring these new doors of opportunity that will be open to you and this is going to be as such in a positive way new possibilities possibilities that you weren't dreaming about is going to come in your life and it's going to be bringing you wonderful the wheel of fortune if you buy the lottery try and buy the lottery in this week because whenever the wheel of fortune comes in it is and doors of portal is always that someone will win the lottery in this week so whatever you're doing um by the lottery it is wonderful because you can also win and help yourself and help people in your life whatever it is because the lottery is something that came up from the ideas of different people putting money in one pot to, to share it with others and people can win so do not see the lottery as something that is devilish or something like that no the lottery is actually something that people put money in one pot so that someone will win and you be constantly putting together because working together is always the key so this is wonderful whatever is happening a new door of opportunities are going to come out for you Leo's in um, in this week and it's going to be a positive positive and then so whatever it is it's going to be um, super super positive okay as we move on we have the nine of swords this nine of swords is going to be some people are going to have an in, inner liquor conflicts and it is a um, yeah some people are going to be having inner liquor conflicts because the energy of the moon is here. There is an eclipse that is going on. So whatever is happening, this inner liquor conflicts is going to be inwards. So you're conflicted. If, are you hearing the messages correctly? That sort of a thing. Is it the right part that I'm on? Whatever is happening, this is a sort of a situation that will be playing out in your life. A lot of people are having conflicting information because the universal beam, the intergalactic and beams are connecting with you. There will be they have been coming in and they was they were always here, but they're now showing their present and they are here and there's going to be a lot of inner conflicts because you're getting information and things and you are not sure how to cipher all, all these messages. So just ask them to give you clarity about the messages that they are bringing into you. Okay, so Thursday is going to be a, 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 a day of a intuition and a day of you're getting so much message from inwards. You're not sure of how you can deal with uh, that message so um, ask them to, to bring clarity show you signs okay I I'll always ask them to show me signs the eight of sword is here whatever the energy vibration the eight of sword is here you're not seeing clearly which is true because the day before you have the nine of uh, um, swords and it was in a conflict so you were having you were getting mixed uh, information it's not really mixed information you were getting information that you weren't aware of how you should deal with this information so you know sometimes you see people with music over their ears is that they're always getting this information when it's quiet and they don't know how to deal with it and Thursday is going to be a day like that on Friday you're really tied up you have no idea what is happening but the energy of the three of swords is in reverse so that is good so you're not heartbroken you're just not clear about certain things so, so there is no heartbreak you're not clear about anything and this is good because the energy vibration of the three of swords comes in reverse position twice in your reading so this is very good that means whatever the situation is because here is this man all tied up and someone is watching him it could be that you're all tied up and you're not understanding what is going on around you and your angels or guides are watching over you until the clarity so acts 
the universal angels ask the dude to come in and clear up whatever that is not uh, clear for you and Saturday we have the Knight of Coins, and I love the energy of the Knight. This Knight of Coins because he's shooting for the star, and these cards were depicted in the olden days, and this is why I love this card so much. I can so vibrate with it. It is uh, the deck that I'm using is the deck of the Obits, the Obits, the deck of the Obits. I love this movie. I've watched it thousands of times. I read the book, and it is. I I bought the cards. I'm sorry, and I'm so loving the cards because it's a it's a you know lifetime before or you know the Obits were little people and that sort of a thing. And I love the magic of that sort of a thing. So people don't believe in the talking trees. I have my own opinion about that. So. It's wonderful. Um, I'm shooting for the star. Whatever it is on Saturday, you're shooting for the star, and you you're being protected. You are going for what it is that you want on Saturday, and you're being protected. You are you you are standing, and you're ready for whatever is going to come at you, and you are being protected. So this is going to be positive. This is going to be wonderful. As we move forward, we have the energy vibration of the three of sword and this is a wonderful energy whatever the energy of the three of sword is there is going to be a new beginning so you if you had a heart break whoever if you have lost something it's it's okay there's something better that is coming in whenever you have the three of swords in reverse is that you have lost something you have gotten over it you're trying to get over it some people are during the process trying to get over it but they're telling you whatever that was lost and whatever that has happened in the past it is the past and a new beginning is coming for you so this is a clear messages I don't even have to ask my guides and angels for a message um, towards uh, what was the art break because you don't really need to know the art break people know what all the things that has happened in their life and they're trying to move on and this is going to be there is going to be a new beginning so whatever art break that you had in the past so it is now in the past and you're looking forward and there is going to be a new beginning happening for you this is wonderful as we look at the week um, um, the first half of the week uh, we have the energy of the four of wands you're celebrating because you have released your burdens okay a lot of people will be very busy 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 in the first half of the week but um, you're busy trying to reach for the star and you're shooting for the star and you're going to and you're protected in this time so whatever you're doing in this week you're working forward and you're trying to connect uh, you're working very hard there's a lot of people that would be working very hard studying very hard I'm seeing working and studying you can be working and you can be studying I mean you're you're going for something you're shooting for the star you're going for the best thing in your life and it's going to happen and you're spiritually protected in this time as we look forward where um, the outcomes is going to be the page of cups which is someone who's going to come in your life and bless your life this person um, for for the women, it's going to be someone who is of the energy vibration of the uh, scorpion, the cancers, and the Pisces who's going to come in your life. Someone between the ages of eighteen and thirty five. For some people, and um, the women, um, the the men, it's going to be the Empress who is. Uh, um, a Taurus a Virgo or a Capricorn who is going to enter your life on Tuesday this is going to be wonderful whoever these people are they're going to bring you luck in your life um, the, um, the the second half of the week we have the energy of the three of swords with the new beginning for a lot so whoever whatever if it was a relationship that you're lost if you have lost something someone or that sort of a thing there is going to be a, a healing and a new beginning coming up for you guys with this healing and this new beginning um the energy that you have of the air to eight of swords that you're tied up your you know you're not seeing clearly you're not seeing properly your angels and guides and your universal angels are watching over you um, to help you throughout this situation because sometimes when we're not clear about things we're sitting there and we're trying to really know what what is it that is going on and you're you are being watched over by your angels and your guides which is very good so do not feel out broken it's going to be okay the outcomes is going to be the nine of course a bit of confusion and it's 
internal confusion a lot of people are going to have internal confusion a lot of people are going to have information that doesn't make any sense at all it's okay ask your angels and guides ask the dude to help you to clarify whatever is going on okay I'm saying the dude you know this is so easy for a lot of people out there or you know ask a source creator or ask the creator of all things of arcs mother father God of whoever you are um, you use as your source of all things okay your week is going to actually be positive so whatever is happening in this week the wheel of fortune with the two of ones two of ones is a portal a door is going to open up in all of your lives in different ways and the wheel of fortune is bringing in whatever so if you have been positive it's going to bring you positive things if you have been and um, if you have been negative it's going to bring you positive things if you were going to a, neg a bad time it's going to bring you positive times if it was uh, you have positive times so you're still positive it's going to bring you more positivity more good things in your life so whatever is happening this week please buy the lottery if you buy the lottery and you know just keep on doing that because what people don't understand is that the lottery whatever lo lottery it is if it's uh, the the Florida lottery where whatever state you live in or whatsoever it's because you know some of it costs a dollar by you know you're doing your shopping there you know use that dollar but buy you never know take even I, I think their number the universe this this is the crowning of your week so whatever and I guess I know why the universe gave you um leo this situation is because of uh, the two of ones and the wheel of fortune okay and it's the last the end of 2016 and the beginning of 2017 for your birthday year and they are blessing you leos with a gift a gift of success so buy the lottery whatever you do buy the lottery it's just a dollar um, it's just a dollar just yeah for the people who are in America it's and and you know for the people who are in other countries where the lottery because you have to understand the lottery is something that all um, a lot of people put money together in one pot and then when you buy it you will win it uh, um, you have the, the, the cons you can win it if you are you know if that is the energy vibration of yourself and for you Leo's because it's ending the year 2016 it's beginning the year 2017 which is going to be a positive year for you guys so you are seeing the positive energies and good things are going to come in your life please remember to listen to your Sun moon and rising sign please go back and listen to the monthly reading because we have five weeks in this month and this is a third week reading so listen to the readings for the next two weeks that is, that it's coming up it's going to be a positive one for you guys okay I need to go on because the uh, um, uh, 70 minutes we're working with the chakras what chakras throw chakra so you Leo's need to speak the truth throat chakras whatever is happening in this week speak the truth you Leo's open up Call up an Archangel Michael, ask him to come and heal your throat chakra. Okay? If you listen, um, if you have been watching me for a very long time, you will realize that my throat chakra is very clean because I never get stumble over certain things and I never have, only when I'm sick and uh, I have a problem. Your color in this week is going to be blue, light blue. The sound is going to be mm, H A M M. Mm. And the sound, the element is going to be sound, whatever the element is, it's going to be sound because you're making sound, you speak with your throat chakra. And the glance is going to be your toy, tide warrior glance, okay? And the words is, I speak, I speak my truth, I speak, I speak my truth. Whatever the energy is, it's going to be very positive because call upon Archangel Michael, ask him to touch open and a touch open and clean your throat chakra whenever your throat chakra is clean you're able to speak the truth but speak it in a positive way I've gotten it also for the um, the birthday people also they got the throat chakras Wow okay okay you um, okay you Leah's okay we're also working with the e Oracle I like these funny calls you got the jackpot okay Okay, I'm sorry. Oh my gosh. Okay. 
I want to say thanks to my angels and guides and the universal angels and spirit guides that are working with me. Um, all right, people, you got the jackpots. I was just speaking here also about the jackpots. So, Julius, congratulations. Whatever is happening, the universe is helping you because this is the crowning of your week. And now you have the number 40 card, the jackpot. Pot. okay all right you Leo's okay congratulations remember to always give to someone back <laughs> wonderful oh my gosh this is so I just say thank you to my angels and guides this is extremely extremely wonderful you guys whatever is happening in your life it's the ending and your new year of 2017 is going to be positive okay the jackpot do you see dollar signs they are circling around you like a vigilante um cyclone like everything in your aura is pointing to materialistic gains everything in your aura is pointing at materialistic gains do you want to manifest a new house yes so people who want to manifest a new house, yes, it's going to happen. More money, yes, it's going to happen. More love, yes, it's going to happen. A better job, yes, it's going to happen. A new life, yes, it's going to happen. Maybe a bigger jackpot book, yes, it's going to happen. Maybe a Gucci, yes, it's going to happen. Bingo, maybe wishes to make some room this is wonderful this is positive whatever you're dreaming for whatever you need to happen it's going to happen in this week for you Leo's it's the last week of 2000 and the year 2016 for you Leo's because you're beginning your new zodiac year for the year 2017 and you got the jackpot and it says do you see dollar signs they are clinging around you like vigilante cartoons everything in your aura is pointing to materialistic gains do you want to manifest a new home yes it's going to happen do you want love yes it's going to happen um a better job yes it's going to happen a new life yes it's going to happen maybe a bigger jackpot book yes it's going to happen maybe gucci maybe might be a wish to make some new room because you're going to be very 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 um, sex whatever is happening the energy of the job for magical opportunities new beginnings are happening whatever you have lost let it go walk away good things are happening I'm asking my angels for the message the answers whatever questions you have out there ask your questions and the angels are going to give you an answer and it's whatever questions you guys have angels are going to give you an answer remain positive remain positive so whatever situation you're going um, you're going through remain positive and I love the energy of remain positive because it's a good one because I even use this um, remain positive when I get remain positive I always think you know let, let go of the situation just let it just work out itself that's 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 how I see the energy of remain and positive remain positive is always just see and know that you're going to overcome this situation whatever the situation is you are going to by you know positively seeing that it is working out in your favor asking your angels and guides uh, universal angels to stand in and help you in this situation just help you to remain positive that you know I haven't done anything I was misjudged whatever the situation is the angels ask you to keep an optimistic attitude okay there is a very positive momentum beginning to build towards the creativity of your desire you're speeding your dream along by maintaining a cheerful and a confidence denomination okay it may seem as though your plans are taking a long time to manifest but very soon you will see a change don't allow yourself to lose hope when your dreams are so close to, to coming true. So what they're saying is that 
you know, whatever is happening, remain positive. Sometimes you're working on something and it's taking so long and you're wondering why is it taking so long? And you know, what is it blocking? What do I need to do? And that sort of a thing. And all they're saying is that remain positive because everything happens in design timing, people, whatever it is, everything happened in design timing. It, um, you know, there uh, the plans and whatsoever you're doing, don't worry yourself and don't lose hope because uh, sometimes whenever our dreams is, uh, is about to come through because we have waited so long, we have released ourselves and you know, we have no um, other feelings for it. And they're saying is like the people who buy the lottery all the time and said, I always buy it and I never get anything. Yeah, never get anything. You're telling the universe that you're always buying. You, so stop that and says, I'm remaining positive because I do believe that I'm going to win the lottery. We have to change the way we look at things, the way we think about things, the way we say things to ourselves, the way we, we send out information to the universe. Okay, so once again, thank you. For being here please listen to your Sun moon and rising sign remember you have the energy of chocolate coming up in this week it's going to be your energy vibration um, for this week whatever is happening um, there's something that is happening for that with your jockpot jockpot is um, and remain positive that you're going to win it okay so listen to your Sun moon and rise in the August reading because uh, um, there you will receive more information for the next two coming weeks and I want to say namaste until next week.